Hello, all you YouTubers. This is the Zion Zeus. Wanted to share some great information for tomorrow. That is September 7th, Wednesday, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can join me. Go to blogtalkradio.com, the Zion Zeus, for our Wednesday night show. Our talk going on. It looked like his account was closed down the uh, last couple of days. He was banned from YouTube for some reason. Another topic we're going to be looking at is the Hopi prophecies of the blue Kachina and the red Kachina in the skies and where we are in the Hopi prophecy at this time with the signs uh, 1, 2, 3, etc. So as I said, it's going to be a great show. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. That's blogtalkradio.com backslash the Scion Zeus and we'll probably have some uh, surprise guests for everybody tuning in so it's going to be a blockbuster show again the Zion Zeus is brought to you from yourdivineroots.com uh, browse by become a member go in and see the forecast I have for these couple of months and what's coming up um, there's about to be a major financial global crisis so uh, keep your heads up and uh, watch for that about to be announced in around the world you'll have European countries that will just not be doing that well <coughs> so the reason you can see what you have on your screen right now and it's September 6 2011 uh, this is the JPL it's provided from NASA and it's a JPL small body data br database browser just put that in a, any Netscape Internet Explorer or Google search engine and it will bring you to this page and put in Elnin in the search and then orbit diagram and you'll get this for today so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a couple of things um, we're in a window right now between September 7th and September 14th where this comet is looking to break orbit um, through the <coughs> through the hemispheres of southern and northern hemispheres. And uh, let's just bring this around a little bit and get this organized so everybody can see. So let's see what we have. <coughs> hmm. it actually, looks like they've switched this around. To be honest. Uh, let's have a look. So let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so the blue line here, this blue line represents that this particular comet C twenty ten X one Elinin or Elia, some people call it. However, I don't believe <coughs> that it is Nibiru, not the first one. It could be um, an electric magnetic comet that could explode um, and become charged from the sun as it breaks the ecliptic plane right here. And let's have a look when that date is. Here's the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, and there it is right there. Early September. 14th per NASA's JPL this particular comet will break the hemisphere from Sudden which is this one to the northern early um, in the morning on the 14th of September and then it runs right in here and we can shift this around and have a look at what's going on it runs right in here and this is the major window that everybody's been uh, it's been given a lot of look at at this time which is the 25th 26th and 27th window the reason is because of this alignment you can see it right there actually we actually have a four planet line we have mercury pulling on the sun we have this comet which could end up being electric magnetic in nature which means that if it siphons enough energy from the sun it could ignite and if it does all of a sudden we may have 
a blue star electrical charge between us and the sun and for our eyes our vision it could end up being a blue star or explosion we would see in the sky uh, it's a possibility I'm just throwing that out there I could be wrong but it's just something to think about because uh, the Hopi prophecies are, are pretty amazing um, and this does kind of correlate a little bit there's been so much talk building up to this that it is like a heavenly bodily coming back um, as everybody knows this particular comet has a very strange orbital around and through all our uh, inner solar system now let's have a look at something here um, something doesn't look right here hang on a second spin this around a little bit so let's have a look at this this came in here hmm something very strange going on here with the orbit of this particular comet uh, it came it came in here and went like this and it was coming traveling in here from the sun the physics should be that it goes back out here hmm and but yeah it goes here that's interesting I'm just looking at that right now that's interesting so it goes on a totally different orbit I know they say it's elongated but that doesn't doesn't quite make sense to me because if it comes in here if I go straight across right there it this line here is off it's like it's a uh, tug this way which doesn't make sense because the Sun's orbit it would be actually pulling closer to the Sun because of the gravitational pull of the Sun um, and the breaking between the Sun and the Earth right here so this comet when it came around here should be along this line right here and going right back out here hmm let's uh let's have a look at the dates see does that actually mean anything that's it's this this line here is very strange to me because if I run my mouse right across here uh, this comet should leave right there so let's have a look does that mean anything well what what it does mean there is that technically the comet would be a little bit further away right here and uh, are we in the tail sure however that would mean that it's I if this line was correct and it was actually fixed the comet should be here so the comet shouldn't be leaving right now wow we could actually have a collision we may have a collision with this comet on anywhere between November 6th and the 14th because this line is incorrect this line should run right in here which is this line matching right here right there and this is uh, quite interesting um, I'm not sure if anybody has a uh, I just happen to notice this right here this this line is not correct this line is 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 off it you see right here the angle of approach is wrong see the way this line comes in nice and smooth this line should go out nice and smooth it doesn't it's all jagged um so there's something going on here um this hmm wow look at that so technically you could say anywhere between if we get through whatever is going to happen on the alignment um, right here so if this line was correct right there Eric would run up right into it oh wow wow Eric would run, run right into it on November 14th if this line was correct and corrected right right there I take my mouse and I run it right across which is right there actually there we go anywhere November 15th even right there bang actually wow so November let's have a look let's turn it sideways yeah 
Yeah. Right there. Mm. There we go. There's our angles right here. Right across. So there is definitely something strange going on there. This line is definitely off. So something to consider. Um, I wasn't even looking at that to be honest. I was looking more at uh, the September window a little bit. And um, what's coming up? Let's have a look at that anyway. So again, we're at September sixth, seventh. Um, zoom out a little bit, and um, we can see that we have this right here. Um, we have a slight. Venus Sun tomorrow in the morning. Mercury's in there. Uh, the other thing that I don't, I'm not sure if anyone's thought about is that let's have a look at where Mercury is. Mercury's going away from the Sun when Alan actually comes in. So Mercury's on the opposite side. And Mercury does a lot of different things. Mercury orbits around the Sun 88 days. So this is definitely something to look out for. Uh, it looks like early let's have let's go close in on this let's get close in on this this thing as close as we can now this is when it's at the southern hemisphere so you li live in the nor northern hemisphere you can't see this right now well you could see it with telescopes probably uh, anywhere in the southern hemisphere 12th 13th it's about to break so September 13th could be the day 14 it's up it's breaking up through the ecliptic plane of the southern hemisphere in the norm northern, northern hemisphere and let's see on that day sunrise september 20 it's definitely there yep so um that's all i wanted to really talk about it right now was just this um we do have another window coming up uh, again, if this line is correct, this line was corrected, then this would put this here, it would put this more there. Let's go back a second. Yeah, it actually puts us in more dead of alignment earlier, to be honest. Right there, the 24th. If this line is actually corrected, it would put it, would put it right there, the 24th actually. It may not even be the 25th or 6th it could be the 23rd or 24th if this line is actually corrected and this your mathematics move over a little bit right here it's a perfect alignment on the 23rd so something to take in folks something to think about um i am the zion zeus and let's just w i'm just gonna let this run out and you guys can see what happens as time goes along with this thing Let's let it run. I am the Zion Zeus with yourdivineroots.com. Um, check in to our show tomorrow at 9 Pacific Standard Time. Blogtalkradio.com backslash the Zion Zeus. And our topics will be um, we're going to have a look at Dutch Sense's uh, YouTube account and why it got closed down and kind of some of the topics that he covers. And also the Hopi prophecy. Uh, we may actually touch a little bit on Notre Nostradamus, and we're going to uh, let everybody know the topics for September 11th. So I hope you're doing well, and I hope everything is great with everybody. Um, as I always say, stay awake and stay aware.